Hey y'all, welcome back to Live Free, Live Wild. I got a cheap hot tent stove off of Amazon. Uh, I also got my Palm Ollie $500 titanium stove. But I'm going to take a look at this one and test this one tonight. Because I wanted one that was a little bit heavier, a little bit bigger. And uh, something for like truck camping. So I'm going to set it up, bring y'all in closer, and we'll take a look at it. All right, let's take a look at this. Now, there's only one thing I really already don't like about it, and I seen this when I ordered it, obviously, is this. Now, this is supposed to give you uh, access to open it up so you can put your kettle right on top and it'll give you flame. The only thing I'm worried about it is... When you're first starting your fire, you're going to get a lot of smoke until the fire heats up really hot. Because it's going to take the least, the path least resistant. And until you get this stovepipe hot, because that will make the airflow. Until you get that stovepipe hot, it's going to want to come out of this hole. Now I knew I wanted one with racks. These racks are gonna come in handy, I know that. The other thing I don't like, hold on, let me get the legs up. So the legs fold out. The other thing I don't like is I didn't know this at the time when I got it, but this glass slides out really easy. And there's no carrying case with this one like you get with the uh, more expensive stove. And I don't want to lose it. You know, throwing it around in the truck and whatnot. Out, you know, hiking if you ain't got it in a case and you, you're pulling it behind it, behind you in a sled or something. That moves out, that moves so easily. But it's got a damper, nice damper, nice little handle. Comes with a little poker slash rake, rake out your coals, poker. So you can take this on and off. Not very good. I'm gonna end up burning myself with that. Pretty sturdy uh, flue pipes. Now I like the titanium roll up pipe that I use. Hold on, let these geese go by. I'm trying to make a video y'all. Canadian geese disrespectful typical Canadians and it comes in comes with a built-in uh, damper now I didn't know it when I bought this one but it comes with a wood rack now my other one doesn't have this and I noticed using the other one for a couple of seasons that you burn a lot of wood in there and after a couple of days if you don't clean it out your coals will go out faster because they're sitting in ash this should help with that i could also use it to slide underneath it and bake with you know at least get a top broil like a like at the bottom of your oven with the drawer where you can broil with it you could use that too for that or you could throw this over a couple of logs if you don't ha didn't bring your grill with you and you you don't want to cook on this so you could also do that it's just a a good little option of of different things you could use it for 
So let me get everything set up because I just got here. Let me get everything set up and then uh, we'll get back to it. And uh, I'll show you exactly how it's set up. The one, the other thing I noticed that it didn't come with was a spark arrestor. Now, most stoves at the top, they have a little piece that has either screen or mesh or, or something that doesn't let sparks come out the top because you don't want sparks coming out the top and landing on your tent. That's how you get holes in your tent. And my other hot tent has a lot of them. But we'll see if the Palm Molly stove has one because I brought it as well. We'll see if it has a, the spark arrestor that'll fit. All right, I'll get back to you in a little bit. All right, guys, so it's the next day. I used the stove last night. Um, it's called the GBU wood stove on Amazon. It's $95, so a little over $100 with shipping. And it did really well. I thought that maybe... Uh, the kettle opening, I, I thought maybe that would cause some smoke to roll in. Not an issue. Not an issue at all. Uh, I ended up using one of these wing nut uh, pipe clamps for the bottom. Probably didn't have to have it, but I'd rather put it on there and hot pipe not fall on a tent. Um... The spark arrestor for my expensive stove fit, worked out well. The damper worked well. The one thing that I really, really like about it. So on a lot of stoves, they can be real finicky. And you got to get the sweet spot on on both dampers so you gotta get this in a sweet spot and you gotta get this in a sweet spot for it to draw air properly this one there was no issues you could dampen it down and just have coals uh, which you can't with my palm ollie for some reason but this one it whatever you set it at that's what it stayed at and it kept burning, it didn't go out. Like if you try to dampen down my, my expensive stove, it'll go out and it, it won't stay lit. This one, really impressed with it. hundred bucks. Um, obviously the coating is gonna burn off, which isn't an issue, that's fine. Um, I was thinking about this glass piece last night. Now, yeah, it comes out really easy, but it's going to be a lot easier to clean. My, my palm ollie, you got to take a bunch of screws out to get the glass out and clean it. So it's got its uh, pluses and negatives, but overall, I really, really like it and I recommend it. So if you guys want a cheap stove and get into hot tent camping, it's a good buy. I, I, I recommend it. The GBU hot tent stove. Go well, check it out. Get out in the woods. See y'all later. Live free, live wild.